Although it will still be used for testing and development, there'll be no more motor racing at Goodwood, one of Britain's three major circuits. Sad news for drivers and fans, many of whom will remember the Duke and Duchess of Richmond and Gordon opening the two and a half mile circuit in 1948. Reason for the closure, the track is unsafe for the new Grand Prix formula and the big sports cars, so much faster than the machines of 18 years ago. Since that first event, a victory for Reg Parnell, Goodwood has known all the great names. Remember how Gonzales, Parnell and Ken Wharton drove the BRMs back into favour in 1952. Vindicating the faith of Raymond Mays, Gonzales led them to victory, first, second and third. Also in 1952, the first major win for a dazzling young driver, Mike Hawthorne. By 1953, he was beating men like the great Fangio, who nearly came to grief in the Goodwood Trophy. Hawthorne drives to victory in the Thin Wall Special. Goodwood became famous for its nine-hour sports car events. Sterling Moss drove in almost every major meeting until that tragic day in 1962. The injuries he received in his 100-mile-an-hour crash forced him to give up racing at the climax of his career. Two years before, motorcycling star John Surtees tried his hand at four wheels for the first time at Goodwood. He came second in a Formula Junior event. Four years later, he took the world title. The careers of Graham Hill, another world title holder, has always been closely tied up with Goodwood. That was his TT win in 63. The closing of Goodwood marks the end of an era and leaves only two top-class tracks for international motor racing in this country. Thank you.